Welcome to Adaptive Recognition How-To Video Series. In this video, you will learn how to physically set up an adaptive recognition camera. To provide the highest flexibility, adaptive recognition cameras have several different connectors. Power and Ethernet connectors are essential to set up the camera. The power supply requirements can vary between camera types. We demonstrate a third generation AMPR camera with the optional GPS and 4G modules. Please check the data sheet on the adaptiverecognition.com website to see the available connection types in cases of other adaptive recognition camera models. The two ports on the right are input output connectors. Using these, you can connect external trigger sources such as inductive loop, infragate, Doppler radar, and laser. Or, if you need extra illumination, this is also the port where you can connect your plug and play synchronized adaptive recognition external illuminator. Moreover, it is possible to use the camera as a control device. Through its output connection, it can open a gate or a barrier, for example. The 12-pin connector can be managed with the GPIO settings in the camera. The 8-pin connector is used for radar or other devices that use an RS-232 port. It is also possible to connect a 4G GPS module to the camera. The first step is to power up the camera and connect it to your system. The upper left connector is for the power, and the lower left one is for the Ethernet. Both connectors have a small pin that ensures that they can be plugged in only in the correct position. It is important to screw the plugs in completely. Here we demonstrate a third generation ANPR camera. The power supply requirement for this camera is 24 volt AC. Please make sure to use a sinusoidal power source. The minimum current for this camera is 2 amps. Some adaptive recognition cameras are delivered with a 4 wire power cable. Make sure to connect the two red wires together to one part of your power output and the two black ones together to the other outlet. It's easy to remember red with red, black with black. You might wonder why we require an AC power source to make sure that the cameras are working in the coldest winters and during the darkest hours. We have included a heating element and extra strong LED illuminators in the cameras. These parts require elevated power levels when working simultaneously, which can be provided reliably by an AC power source. ANPR cameras are expected to work outdoors 24 7, day and night, and in any weather. Cameras made by adaptive recognition have waterproof connectors. Still, it is highly recommended to use a so called drop loop when you set up the camera on site. This additional route on the camera leads the rainwater away from the socket. There are two control LEDs on the front of each camera beside the main optics. After you power up the camera, the control LEDs will blink a few times. The startup process takes about 30 seconds. When the camera is ready for operation, both LEDs will be off. Unlike other ANPR cameras, we deliver all of our tolling and access control ANPR cameras with adjustable optics. This makes sure you can freely set up and adjust your camera remotely. Adaptive recognition cameras are IP cameras. It is possible to use them directly connected to a server. They can also work connected to a network. In this case, the camera is connected to a switch or a router. Thanks for watching. For more videos, 
check our channel, and don't forget to subscribe.